Hi, I'm Nicole Lee with Health, Beauty, and More. And for those of you who have tattoos and have gotten tired of them, maybe want to fade them at home and don't want to go to the expense of getting laser treatment, well, I think I can help you. Uh, what you'll need is a bowl, a spoon or spatula, 4% hydroquinone cream or ointment, hydrogen peroxide, lemon juice, doesn't have to be concentrated from a bottle, but you can use this if you like, and either handy ties that like hair ties or if you prefer you could even use waterproof tape and then you also need a piece of plastic wrap like food wrap you take first of all you take your hydroquinone we're just I'm just going to use it on this one that I've been working on fading let me see if you can see it. Turn, turn, turn. Like the song. For every season. You can get it in the camera. That'd be nice. You can see it now. It's already fading a little bit since I started doing this. Okay. For a little bit, I'm take a little dab of this. Just, just to show you how to do this. And I, I would say um, only use hydroquinone maybe three times a week because it's really not healthy. It's not a natural healthy item to use. But if you do have a small area, I mean, it is one possibility that might help you in your process. And then I'm just going to squeeze just... If it was lemon, I would just squeeze a few drops, but I'm just going to pour a tiny, tiny amount equivalent to maybe four drops of lemon juice in there, concentrate, and about the same amount of the hydrogen peroxide. Just a couple drops. Take a little spatula, stir it, since it's so thin, because I'm not really putting a lot on just to show you. I would say get yourself a cotton ball handy. But it, since I don't have one handy right now, I'm just going to pour this right on and make sure I cover over all the colored ink. And once you do that, grab your plastic, slap it on there. around your wrist or wherever your tap is accessible since it's on an arm it's accessible you can do this sort of thing if it's on an arm or a leg shoulder maybe a little harder but you can still do it if you find some way to keep it on there best thing to do is at night to do it when you go to bed because it'll stay on all night long and it, you don't want to cut off circulation when you're doing this so that's why I was using the, the tape myself but if you're inclined to use the ties and if they're comfortable for the area it, like it's, you have small I kind of have small bones and I can just use it this way it really does soak in better um, alternatively every now and then with the microneedling equipment, 
it's called it's called a derma roller that I have that really opens up the pores deeper and puts little dinky little tiny cuts in there so that the uh, dermal layers are deeper for the the mixture to soak into and I think that's if you want to hasten the process but you have to be patient because this could take anywhere from three months to a year to satisfactorily um, fade it and it also can depend on what color of ink you have too I, from what I've heard that blue is maybe a little harder and takes a little longer to fade out but that's what I would would offer for a suggestion for those who want to do it yourself Nicole Lee, Health, Beauty, and More. I hope this helped you. Have a great day and have a good evening.